Welcome back to the Cyber Roads to Build. Guys, look at that. Look at that rear end. Does that look weird or what? That looks freaking cool. Well, yo, I'm gonna attempt to do something like that. You know why? Like for example, I was messing with uh, the plaid bumper, Model 3 bumper. I got a, even a BRZ, Subaru BRZ bumper. And I was thinking like, what can I do? What can I, for example, when I put the bumpers on, every time I put the bumpers on, it killed it right away for me. It killed, it was like, I'm hiding that, that wheel. You know what that looks like to me? You know, they say bumper delete. Well, you know how they take the bumpers off, off of a Lamborghini or like a R8 Audi or something like that. And the, the rear end is all exposed. They do it because of the uh, turbos, right? There's something about that look with the rear wheel, like kind of exposed like that, that I freaking love. And you know what? I'm gonna attempt to do that. I'm gonna try and see if I can make it work. I, I think I can because look, the quarter panel right there, I pretty much, I finished it off. This piece right here, this is on the inside. Kind of messy here right now. So check this out. So uh, this quarter panel is pretty much done right now. The way it sits, this car is so freaking wide. I'm telling you, this thing is almost six inches wider than a Lamborghini Huracan. So you can imagine when this is rolling on the streets, this thing is gonna be so freaking huge. This angle, this looks weird, right? With the tape, the, the way it is right now. But I'm gonna attempt to do this. Picture this whole thing, you know, from the, this, this all the way down here, the diffuser. And there's gonna be like a little wing right here that kind of goes backwards, kind of up like this. That's what I'm gonna attempt to do. <clears throat> Same thing like with the quarter panel. Mess around with a bunch of different designs. Every time I covered up that rear wheel, I, I kind of got bummed out because I'm not exposing it. I'm not, the way that looks right there, that looks freaking cool. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make this thing look super, super mean in the back. Expose the wheel, kind of uh, gonna have that, that bumper delete look, halfway there, halfway not, with a diffuser. Uh, for example, the Porsche Mission R kind of has this uh, style where it's, uh, the, the rear wheel is exposed. It took me several days to sit here and like, you know, change up a bunch of different designs and like, what am I gonna do right here? I kind of felt like, oh my goodness, this is kind of like what, the, what I was doing with the quarter panel. But the rear end, like for example, does it need the half of the quarter panel whatever I was doing wasn't flowing with the front of the car. So that's the problem that I had there. That got that squared away. This right here, I can kind of do it on its own and I can make it extreme. I still have that. I want to do something super extreme in the back and this is what I'm gonna do. Sorry I wasn't posting for a little bit, but this is what I was looking for. Something crazy, extreme, and I found it. Let's do this. Okay, how to begin. I was going through pictures and I was like, why don't I try a Subaru BRZ bumper? <laughs> now keep in mind, I just need this part right here. Uh, basically a base. I need a base to start, <clears throat> start off with, which is right here. This is from a 2014 Subaru BRZ. Um, now, like I said, keep in mind, I'm gonna only use basically for like from here to you know the other corner and the rest I'm gonna cut it like this. The reason why I'm gonna use this bumper is because of this part right here, this part's flat. I want this part to be more flat, not as rounded. And then, you know, it's gonna kind of shoot in like that. Um, now this right here, this is way too rounded. This, this bumper, uh, this car is definitely not as wide as this. Uh, so what I'm gonna do right now is, um, I'm just gonna chop it basically from here to go all the way down here. Let's just cut it cut it and uh, see where it takes me. And then I'll, when I start chopping bumpers up like this, like bumpers that are in good condition, kind of gives you that feeling like, what am I doing? But at the same time, it's exciting. All right, so check this out. See, I cut the diffuser off, and right where this reinforcement is, this is actually standing, it's on a one inch uh, foam piece right there, and you see the reinforcement starts to shoot in, basically right, right above where I cut it. So that's where the diffuser, 
it's gonna start to shoot in like this. All right, so check this out. I pretty much cut off what I don't need, which is, you know, the top of the bumper, the diffuser, and look at this. I aligned it with the wheel the way it is now. Look how much wider this car is. So it's actually roughly 10 inches right here. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take this bumper and I'm gonna cut it right in half and I'm gonna have to fill this part in 10 inches so I can extend it all the way here, then fill this part in right here and check this out. So the diffuser is gonna be super deep. Look at this. All right, check this out. Excuse the mess over here. I've been in here brainstorming pretty much all day. Look at this. So the diffuser is gonna connect from here, from here all the way to here. It's gonna be like super deep. It's gonna go in there. Um, this is gonna look so menacing on the road. I cannot wait. So the next step is gonna be, you know, cutting the bumper, setting it where it needs to go, and then, you know, fill, fill this part in. You know, I gotta just make sure I mimic everything correctly and have it, you know, symmetrical. I'm thinking this is gonna be just a little bit different, maybe. Um, this part is gonna be flat over here and it's gonna go in, basically shoot into here. This is gonna be part of the uh, quarter panel and then the wheel is gonna be exposed. That's the main idea. Huge, huge diffuser. There's gonna be these huge fins. There's gonna be one here and here. There's only gonna be two. They're gonna be massive. That's the plan. I'm gonna cut this video right here. This is the idea. I'm gonna work off of this. This is like 30% left of the bumper, but this is a perfect setup because these bumpers have really big diffusers. They go up. Uh, for example, th th this part's hanging right here. Um, it should kind of go, you know, that way more. Uh, but this bumper right now, the way it is, it's sitting higher than it would, would on an FRS. You know, that part's hanging. It should go up some more. Um, this is a perfect base. I'm excited for this. Stay tuned, guys. Peace.